Hi, it's Lisa. So one of the more popular videos that I've uploaded is called Sugar Myth 1 Carbs Cause Diabetes and I've had a few comments on it. They say I can't be right and they give various reasons that I've heard before and yet there's other comments where people are telling me how a high carb, low fat plant based diet reverse their diabetes. So I don't know whether these people who comment on how it can't work even read the other comments. I'll read out what Sink Mill said because they were discussing fructose. Fructose is not good. It is basically fat if you look at how it is metabolized by the liver. He or she goes on and says, In the 1970s and 1980s, the fat is bad mantra prompted a big shift in the American diet. People and food companies replaced fat, often healthy fat, with sugar, almost always refined sugar. But this sort of low-fat diet, one rich in refined sugar and thus in fructose, is really a high-fat diet when you look at what the liver does to fructose, said Dr. Lustig. Sinkmo goes on and says, This is because when you eat fructose, you actually generate more fat in your liver for the same amount of energy intake compared to other types of sugar. For example, if you calorically restrict an animal but give it a high-fructose diet or a high-sugar diet, it will still produce fatty liver and will still become insulin resistant. I read that and I thought I'm going to google where he got this information from. He got it from Dr. McCullough's website. So those of you who have been in the high carb community for a while might know that Dr. McCullough is a snake oil salesman and he is a promoter of a high fat diet. He demonizes fruit and sugar and carbs. He just references studies done on rats using high fructose corn syrup. So I responded to Sink Mill and I said that can't be correct because there are people on a high carb low fat diet who eat as much carbs as they want and they do not become insulin resistant, such as myself. Also all the long term fruitarians that I see are lean and healthy. All they eat is fruits and vegetables. Even Robert Lustig says fruit is fine. And Sink Mill says, vegetables are fine, some fruits too. They don't contain much fructose and are high in fiber. By eating a lot of carbs, insulin stays in the blood. This means no stored fat can get back out of the fat cells. People whose insulin is not working will not benefit from carbs. If you are overweight, it is also better to go into ketosis. Eating fat doesn't trigger insulin, but you can also just fast. Carbs trigger insulin. I'll just read out my response. I said, those people I'm talking about on high carb, low fat vegan diets improve their health, such as myself. If you look at the longest lived cultures in the world today, they are on high carbohydrate diets. For example, the blue zones. Of course, their lifestyle is also a contributing factor to their longevity and great health. I have been eating high carb, low fat plant based for almost five years. I've had blood tests done both recently and earlier on during this phase, and my blood sugar is always within the healthy range. If the point is to avoid spiking insulin, low carb doesn't achieve it. Numerous foods eaten on a low carb diet such as beef, fish, cheese and butter actually release more insulin per calorie than pasta, white or brown and porridge. And I linked him to a study that backed up my statement and this was a study that I had referenced in the video that he commented on. People become insulin resistant because of intramyocellular fat. Dr. Neil Bernard's TED talk made a lot of sense with this issue. His book Reversing Diabetes also shows the studies and the science behind why people who eat animal source foods are at higher risk of getting diabetes. He has clinical experience with reversing type 2 diabetes with a high carbohydrate plant based diet. Fruit and other whole high carb plant foods have never been shown to cause diabetes or insulin resistance in any study. All studies done about fructose are not done on humans eating fruit or whole plant foods. In fact, fruit is good for diabetics. You just look at any study, it will not show that fruit causes diabetes. If anything, there's only a beneficial effect. And if carbs cause diabetes, then we wouldn't have people who reverse their diabetes on a high carb diet either. If you have experience with diabetes and reversing it with a plant-based diet, let me know. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.